Coming up next week in Brussels, a packed week of UN Secretary Generals, Presidents, Prime Ministers, TTIP and a mini plenary. Welcome to the agenda. Bringing grandeur to a packed mini plenary session in Brussels, the UN Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon. His Excellency has spoken of his concern over the instability in Libya and the growing migrant crisis as Europe readies itself to plunge Navy ships into the Mediterranean waters to go after smugglers, could Ban Ki-moon have stern words? Also look out for debates on the June G7 summit, stopping cyber attacks against the media like the one on TV5 Monde and forced marriages. She's her country's first female president, but as Catherine Samba Panza makes her way to the parliament, the question for many, is the end game in sight for the conflict in the Central African Republic? A historic peace deal was broken between her government and armed rebel factions at the beginning of May. Under the agreement, rebel groups must disarm and renounce violence. Fighters may also be absorbed into the army. But peace deals between previous governments and militias have failed. Is this one different? Find out more on Tuesday. It was a launching pad for the Arab Spring and one of the few success stories. But as disenchantment brings people back onto the streets, could Tunisia, like Egypt, Sees democratic flowering get stamped out. Protests erupted when members of the former Ben Ali regime were given lenient sentences or released from jail. Europe has a vested interest in the country as it provides technical and financial assistance. Watch the debate with Prime Minister Habib Asid on Thursday. And finally, the last words go to TTIP. The Trade Committee report, which details Parliament's position on the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, goes to a final vote at the committee. Could ISDS, the divisive private arbitration clause, be finally showing the door? We'll find out on Thursday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.